you're watching Movie Guide, and I'm your host, Evie Carroll. We're at the red carpet of Hillsong Let Hope Rise in Hollywood, California. Let's talk to some of the band members and filmmakers. Um, so what has been the craziest uh, part of filming? The craziest part of filming, uh, if I'm honest, and you'll probably see it in the film as well, it's just the first scene where, um, for me anyway, where I walk into the studio, and it was crazy because it was the time that I got to be part of like a uh, United Project from start to finish. So I was walking into the studio, not really knowing like what the writing process was like. I was a bit nervous anyway. Didn't I think I must have been left out of some of the emails that the film was actually happening. So I walk <laughs> in, which is crazy. I'm wearing a dog shirt, hardly any makeup. Like, I would never have planned to wear that if I'd known that it was going to be like... Afterwards, you're like, thanks, guys. I literally was just like, I walk in, and they're like, okay, so... And I'm just like thinking, is this what normally happens when we do, like, you know, an album? And they're like, no. So the film that they were kind of talking about, you remember that? I was like, yeah. They're like, well, it's happening, so we're going to put a mic in you. We need you to walk back out and walk back in because it's happening. And I'm just like, oh, my gosh. And so I think I was nervous already, and I was like, what is this? And then in the end, we just, like... I just ignored them. I mean, yeah. I was like, hey, Cam, like, yeah, yeah, hey, MJ, yeah. and then just like pretend they weren't there because, you know, we're just very normal yeah. and that's all I can do. So, yeah. how can I do me? <laughs> how do you think hope kind of transforms people? I think, um, I think, I mean, or the need for it. Yeah, I think there's a need for hope. I mean, living in the, the days we're living in today, there's a lot of hopelessness. There's, I mean, we, I just looked at the news today about uh, overdoses, like a record number of overdoses in, here, in Ohio today. I was like, it's a hopeless situation. People need hope. I, th I think um, the message of the gospel is, is, a, is a message of hope. And I, and I feel like what people need today is just a, a bit of encouragement that, that, uh, that, that they're, not on, they're not on their own. They're not by themselves. They can, they've got, I don't know. I mean, you know what I mean. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Now, what has been the most crazy experience about a film being made? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's scary to be honest. I mean, this is scary right now, but um, I think uh, I don't know when 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 we were approached about this, I, we kind of were like, I hope they don't make us or the church look silly, you know. But um, I feel like they've done a great job in, in making the making the church and portraying the church in a way that makes it look like it, it's for everybody it's inclusive and it's for people and um and it's a it can be a place of where people can find a message of hope find a message of of encouragement and um and it's for everybody it's inclusive this movie specifically says like reaching the youth why do you think that's so important because i know that you guys are both like probably mentors to like teenagers and stuff like that why do you think that's so you know people like teenagers looking up to you and stuff why do you think that's so important well, I think it's really important because at the end of the day, regardless of where you work, who you are, what kind of status you have, we are all examples and we're setting examples for people daily. And we are very fortunate to be able to have a platform where we can speak to a bunch of different people. And we actually just started, it was all Carlos's idea, we started vlogging. And at the end of every vlog, we take about five to ten minutes to just have these words of wisdom. It's like a moment where we just AKA talk about... AKA Bible study. Yeah, it's like a ten minute Bible study. <laughs> and we're able to just love on people and try to be a light as much as we can. And that's all we can do. We can't change people, but we can plant the seed. Is there a different kind of vibe on this type of film? Because this is a faith film. Honestly, it's a different vibe. I mean, these people are probably the nicest people you're ever going to meet. Um, which as a storyteller is not actually the best news because I'm looking for the, the drama. Yeah, where's the drama? Um, and I ended up discovering that the drama was uh, in the creative process for them. Um, they take their music as seriously as um, any musician. And, and perhaps in some ways when it comes to lyrics more so because they're not just looking for a hot hook. What they're looking to do is connect people, they interpret the Bible to bring people closer to God and bring them to the afterlife. That weighs on Joel a lot. Um, and so um, I think that the vibe was very similar in a way, but there's like a, an undercurrent that's very different and maybe more meaningful, you know? It, it depends on how you feel about the thing. Now this uh, movie says, let hope rise. How does hope transform someone? Oh, it's, I think if people don't have hope, they become dangerous. They become angry, they become cynical and vicious. This message is needed more than ever. And I'm so glad that, that they're out here with this message of hope and love and uplifting the human spirit. 
We need this right now in our country. We need some hope and some good news. And I'm so happy that it's out here in Hollywood. We're on the red carpet right out here with the big boys. It's fun. Um, so tell us, what moment did you know you wanted to make this into a movie? Because you're at the forefront of Hillsong movie. Well, I, I had gone to a Hillsong conference, which is uh, in Sydney, five nights, 30,000 people a night. So 150,000 people at this conference. And you see Hillsong and, you know, the music's spectacular and the lights and the sound. It's all really big and amazing. That's not what did it for me. I, I actually was so moved because at this conference they had 4,000 volunteers from their church who gave up a week of their vacation to work. And look, I go to a, I go to a Presbyterian church here in Los Angeles and we can't get anybody to volunteer for anything. And so for them to get 4,000 people. It's so passionate about it. just made me think, you know what, as a church they must be doing something right because they're so big and so influential and you would, you would expect that there'd be big egos that come with that. And it just doesn't. They're just so humble and such great people that uh, I was just proud to make a movie about them. And I think that's a great message for uh, teens and youth that this band is so popular, but they are so humble. Was that a deliberate message that you wanted to put in the movie? Yeah, well, I mean, it, we didn't have to try hard. Uh, you know, it's not like we were hiding uh, big drama or big egos. I mean, this is just authentically who they are. And I think that's one of the the key things about this movie is that that just comes right through. It's just how beautiful they are as people and um, and how aspirational as Christians they are. You go, these guys are so big and yet so kind and so good and so humble. Like, we can all be like that. Do you have any funny, silly, crazy moments in filming? Uh, well, one of the craziest moments for me was when we shot at the Forum, and 15 minutes before the concert was going to start, the Forum was only 15% full. And I was like, full panic. I mean, like, where are the fans? This is crazy. No one's coming. We're dead. Um, but I ran outside, and I talked to the security guys, and it's just, it was L.A., right? They were People all in showing, traffic. Exactly. In traffic, showing up late. So we, we held off 20 minutes, and when the lights came up, the place was 100% full. Um, so when did you know that the message of Hillsong correlated to Pure Flix? Well, Pure Flix has always been about making films that uplift and inspire the human spirit, and nothing does that more than, than Hillsong and this movie. So there you go. And what's great <laughs> is that it's um, reaching uh, teenagers and the youth. Um, how do you think that that's an important group <laughs> to kind of work towards? You know, it's amazing because in his class last year, they played the song Oceans. Yeah. Is Oceans every day. Oh, my gosh. I, almost every day his teacher was just to chill out, I think, the, uh, you know, the third graders. Calm them down yeah, a exactly. little bit. Exactly. <laughs> you know, but it's, uh, it's awesome. I mean, it's amazing what that song, uh, not just the song, but the band and their music has done to go worldwide. I'm always, I'm always amazed to see how the Lord takes a kernel of an idea and he expands it out and, you know, and just things that you can't plan. I don't think Hillsong probably planned what their, you know, yeah. the, 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 the reach that, yeah, the yeah. influence that they have. And, and it's just, it's, it's neat to be part of that. And Pure Flix is happy to, to take it out. Okay. When did you know, at what point did you know that uh, Hillsong would be perfect for Pure Flix? Oh, I always knew it was, you know, they believe in, in Jesus and ultimately that's who they're worshiping and putting an experience on film that just glorifies God. And so I knew it was a perfect fit from day one and we wanted to see this go nationwide into the world. Now they say this is a new type of movie. Uh, how is that? Well, you know what? It's not a film. It's not a documentary. It is a, it's a in theater worship experience like nothing else you experience. I've gone to test screenings and I've been in movie test screenings before and, and you see them, but I've never seen an entire theater get up and worship the Lord in the middle of the movie. So it's absolutely incredible. People I know, if they love their music, you will love it. If you haven't heard their music, it will transform your life. So it's, 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 there's something for everybody in this movie, Christian or non-Christian. That's a wrap from the red carpet of Hillsong Let Hope Rise. Make sure to check out the full review at movieguide.org.